you see is a comparison between two different server infrastructures. On the left, you have your traditional infrastructure, which is an x86 server running a software-based networking system, DPDK OBS. And on the right, you have a Qualcomm Centric ARM Core server with a Netronome Agilio Smart NIC offloading and accelerating the server networking data path. A couple things to notice here. When you look at the x86 server on the left, you can see that even with one VNF running, you've got most of the server consumed, you got pretty significant latency, and your throughput is about 5.1 gigabits per second. Now the promise of network function virtualization, RENFV, is that you can take your virtual network functions and you can stack them onto commodity servers. So instead of using purpose-built appliances, you can have multiple functions running on the same server. The challenge is that most of those VNFs are extremely power hungry, they have network requirements, and it's hard to fit many of them onto the same server with your performance requirements. On the right hand side, you can see that very little of the CPU is actually being utilized, and you're actually getting more throughput at seven gigabits per second. So let's build this out a little bit. So now that we just have three VNFs running on each server, you can see some deltas here. Number one, on the left hand side with the x86, the server itself is almost entirely consumed. So every thread is running almost at capacity. On the right hand side, you can see that on a 48 core Qualcomm Centric server, you're only running at about 50% capacity. What's happening is there are more cores available, more threads available to do work. And more importantly, you have almost triple the bandwidth available. So what you've got is 19 gigabits per second of throughput on the Qualcomm Centric and only six on the x86. So you can see that to each virtual machine or VNF, you have probably three times the bandwidth. But what's interesting is because there was overhead available, we could add even more virtual network functions to the Qualcomm Centric server where the data path is being offloaded by the Angelio CX SmartNIC. Now what's happened is we've gone to 21 gigabits of throughput. So each high network requirement VNF, such as a deep packet inspection tool or um, potentially a DDoS device has full bandwidth to each VNF. Whereas on the left-hand side, we still have only three VNFs running because the server is completely maxed out and we're only getting six gigabits of bandwidth. So let's build this out just a little bit. As we add one more server, we can see a couple of factors here. Number one is that we have more VNFs running on the right-hand side. We have 10 VNFs compared to only six. We have 41 gigabits of aggregate throughput on the right-hand side compared to only 12 on the left-hand side, which is a 4x improvement. If we build this out into an entire system, it becomes even more apparent. More cores on the right means more VNFs. So you're running 20 VNFs versus only 12. And with the Agilio CX SmartNIC offloading and accelerating the data path, what you have is 82 gigs of throughput compared to 24 on the left-hand side. So you have four times the network performance you have almost 2x the VNF density. And in any data center, you're gonna find incredible performance benefits by having more virtual functions running and increased network throughput.